gonna be us, no! It ain't gonna be us! They gonna go to that, baby! It's the start of a new era for Robert Morris football, a team marred by seven straight losing seasons and just one conference championship in the past 17 years. The Colonials, led by new head coach Bernard Clark, look to shock the college football world and turn around one of the most inferior programs in the FCS. The quarterback position has always been the cornerstone of a good offense, and the starter for this Colonial squad was the biggest question mark heading into the season. The battle was between fifth-year senior Jimmy Walker and his second year with the Colonials after transferring from San Diego State. Despite being last year's starter, he would still have to battle it out with LSU transfer Caleb Lewis. But come game day, it was Walker who held on to his starting job and Lewis who was relegated to the third string behind redshirt freshman George Martin. Week one sets the tone for the entire season and the Colonials' Week 1 foe is one that has traditionally been a thorn in their side. In 20 all-time games against the Dayton Flyers, the Colonials have garnered a mere three wins, the biggest of these coming last season. A 28-yard field goal off the foot of Nick Biseglia, with just four seconds remaining, clinched the first Army victory against the Flyers in the last 17 years. A humiliating loss, and one Dayton was adamant not to repeat. Jeske under center. They give it to Yinger on the handoff, and Yinger breaks free to the 30, 20, cutting up right, upfield, and a touchdown for Dayton. It's Tucker Yinger, 44 yards, and Dayton striking first. The Colonials would not back down and came back firing, converting on a big third down. Shortly after that, the Colonials would answer the Flyers' touchdown with one of their own. Walker in the shotgun, stops, turns, throws, down the field, into the back of the end zone, touchdown for Robert Morris. It's the tight end, Matthew Gonzalez, the Colonials tying it back up. But it would not take long for the Flyers to regain their lead. Cutting up field and untouched by any Robert Morris Colonial. Touchdown, Dayton. They go up 14 to seven. Jeske steps back, he's looking long. Deep ball for Dayton, thrown down the field, incomplete. Broken up, but a flag will be thrown on the play. Down two scores early, Coach Clark would go to his kicker, Nick Biseglia, on a 48-yard attempt. Check will hold for the kick. Snap taken, kick is up, and it is wide left. No good for Nick Biseglia. The Colonials not able to get three points on the board. Meanwhile, the Flyers' offense, despite an injury to starting quarterback Alex Jeske, would continue their offensive onslaught. Skabinski upfield, gutting past a couple defenders, and Ryan Skabinski all the way for 64 yards. Touchdown, Dayton. With time winding down in the first half, the Colonials needed a score to keep themselves in the game and to make a statement that this team would not just lay down to the Flyers. First and 10 here for Robert Morris. Walker in the shotgun, faking it and looking downfield toward the back of the end zone. Caught, no, incomplete. Delano Madison had it in his hands, but David Leisering knocking it out. A tough one for Robert Morris. Madison frustrating, not able to hold on to it. Walker in shotgun, rolls to his right, throwing into the corner of the end zone, caught for a touchdown! It's Chase Bodeman! Final seconds of the first half, the Colonials cutting the lead from Dayton. Going into the second half, the Robert Morris defense had yet to force a punt. If they wanted to help mount a comeback, a defensive stop was imperative. Cook under center, taking the snap. Heading back, he's got a man on the right side, cutting towards the pylon, it's Richie Warfield, touchdown Dayton!
As the Colonials continued to trail away from Dayton, it was Jimmy Walker who would take the game into his own hands. Got a man to his right, taking the snap, steps back, looks, he's gonna take it himself, trying to get to the end zone, Walker to the five, barreling through and standing up the defender into the end zone, Jimmy Walker, touchdown, Robert Morris. The Robert Morris defense would finally get the defensive stop they desperately desired. With a chance to get the game within one touchdown, misfortune struck the Colonials once again at the hands of the Flies, as the Dayton punt would be downed at the one-yard line. Walker and the RMU offense were faced with the titanic task of going the length of the field for the score. But it would be the Dayton defense that would prove to be just too much. Colonials forced to punt again, still trailing by two scores against Dayton. With Dayton's offense continuing to be nearly unstoppable, putting in two more scores, it appeared time had officially run out for the Colonials. Final score here from Welcome Stadium, the Dayton Flyers take a commanding 49-28 victory against Robert Morris.